Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going over 12 of either the best or the worst fashion trends of 2024. I like to make this video every year in the beginning of the year because it's just fun to see what's going to be popular, what's trending, what's continuing to trend. Now you guys know my style is very minimal, classic, polished. I rarely incorporate trends, but when I do, I feel like they really do reflect my style. And that's how I think, you know, trends should be if you are incorporating them into your style. It's something that it should reflect your personal style and something that you see yourself wearing for years, not just for this season. And today in this video, I do want you guys to let me know what trends out of this list I'm sharing today is the best and the worst. So please weigh in your opinions, your thoughts. I will share mine as always. So let's go ahead and hop right in. This one that I've been noticing a lot lately is pinstriped clothing. So this one, I don't love it, but I also don't hate it. But I have been seeing this specific pattern print on very loose, trendy, oversized items. And I think that's where I'm not the biggest fan of it. I think when it comes to pinstripe clothing, I love it on just a classic fitted blazer, maybe a, or a classic fitted suit with a pant and blazer. Um, I think it looks great on menswear suit. I can see it looking great on females as well. I don't know, it's something I personally wouldn't purchase for myself. So like I said, I don't love it, but I also don't hate it. Next up is dark gray, a specific color. So I'm wearing that today here on my bottoms. Um, this one, I actually surprisingly been really loving. You guys know that. I'm shared that since the fall time I've been really into it and you know I have pants now that are in a darker gray color so these straight fit pants from Abercrombie I love these I'm gonna link them down below I have outerwear pieces in a dark gray color I have sweaters now in a dark gray color and I know dark gray is like technically a neutral color <laughs> it's a cooler tone uh, so it's nothing like crazy but I do really love it something different for me because I don't have a lot of these pieces next up I have noticed this was pretty trendy last year and I see it carrying on this year for spring and summer but it's the color butter yellow as they call it so literally exactly what the name is it looks like a butter yellow color um i see this in slip dresses most often and me i don't love it but i don't hate it i actually think it looks gorgeous especially putting this color on more updated wardrobe pieces like silk slip dresses i think they look honestly phenomenal and i could see this looking really beautiful on so many different women that have, you know, different skin tones and types. I'm not sure about myself. What do you guys think? I mean, I have very dark hair, dark features. I'm curious if the butter yellow color would look good on me. I don't know if I'm bold enough to purchase this color, to be honest, I'm not sure, but I wouldn't mind trying it out on myself. Next up, this has been blowing up like crazy, but knee high riding boots. I have been seeing this pop up so much. I got hooked onto the trend real quick. And this is something I kind of feel like it's not super trendy. It's honestly just like a classic wardrobe staple that has become really popular. And that's totally fine because you know what? I have so many options to choose from now. And I purchased these ones by Tommy Hilfiger. Uh, this price was really affordable price point. I really wanted to get a riding boot that was at an affordable price point because I wasn't sure how often I was going to wear it. I didn't want to invest into like a three, $400 pair that's genuine leather uh, if I didn't know if I was going to wear it often. Now I do know I wear it all the freaking time it's wonderful for fall and winter keeps me warm looks super stylish this one specifically i love that it has like a little buckle around the ankle so it elevates a little bit but in a very classy and subtle way so this next one i think it has to be done in a very specific way for at least for me to personally really like it but a huge thing i've been seeing popular late last year and into this year is bags with unexpected shapes so here's some you know pictures images here just really interesting designs really interesting shapes just to give more of a wow factor to your outfit i do like about these purses specifically these unexpected shapes are typically structured they look polished they're very minimal so that's where i'm like okay i see this looking actually really nice unique very interesting at the same time and accessories is a really easy way and usually an inexpensive way to your style kind of revamp it or freshen it up a little bit if you want to now there are some styles that i am personally not a fan of that's just like a little too much but if it's done in a subtle way very minimal and simple way i don't mind purses bags with a different unique shape that you don't normally see often so next up are mini hems this one to me also it depends so 
I think it's kind of gotten maybe a little too extreme. The minis I've been seeing is really, really mini to where it's not really wearable. I love mini styles, but just sharing some footages here, this is as mini as I would go. And I wouldn't wear this on a day-to-day -day basis. Obviously, you know, this is something I would wear when it would make a little bit more sense for the day. Try to make sure there's built-in shorts on the inside because it just makes it a little bit more comfortable throughout the day. As far as mini styles, I love it but just making sure it's not over the top mini style. Hair bows is a big one. This has been popping up so much and I think it really popped up during the holiday season. And personally, I love it. I think they're absolutely adorable. I think they're so cute. I feel like this is an item that you probably either love it or you hate it. I personally love it. I don't wear them too often. Actually, I kind of have trouble with a lot of hair bows. They kind of just slide off my hair. That's just been kind of my issue lately. Aside from that, I just, I think they're adorable. I think they're fun. I love accessories, you know, purses, bags, scarves, hair bows, headbands even sometimes, belts, like all the accessories. I love them because it really adds more interest and style to your outfit. And you can really pick and choose what reflects your personal style. Next up is velour. And I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. This really brings me back to the 2000s where you would see like that juicy track suit. It's really popular is like the velour sets, like sweat set. You'll see it in like the top and pants set or I've seen Lululemon carry like the sweatshirt options and I think the pants option too as like a set. Personally, this is a no for me. I'm not into it. It just, even though the styles, the cut, the design is done in a more modern, fresh way, it's still not enough for me to love it. Okay, let's quickly talk about quiet luxury or old money style. I've done a video where I titled this, not gonna lie, let's be real here. I added that title to a video. But I did some, a little bit of research, a little bit of digging, like what's the difference? Like why it's so special? There is a slight difference to it when it comes to like a classic, classy, polished style and quiet luxury or old money. There's like a slight difference to it. But honestly, I personally think it's just a trendy, fancy name people use now. Just really define a polished, classic, classy style. Outfits I see when people are like, oh, my old money outfit idea. I'm like, this is what I have been wearing for the past five years. I mean, it's like just putting a new name on something. However, I do love the style. I obviously, you guys know, I love classy. I love minimal. I love chic. I love polished and structured put together styles. I love that. And the fact that this style, these wardrobe pieces are becoming trendy. I gotta say, I love it. This gives a lot of women who love this style already, who have naturally loved it for years or decades, options to choose from now if they're looking for more clothing, want to update their wardrobe a bit. This gives so many more options, variety. The fact that more people are dressing in this style, I gotta say, I love it. It's great. Okay, this next one. I hate it. They're the most, I'm sorry, like ugliest jeans I've ever seen. It's the barrel jeans. Like, if you could make the most unflattering jeans of your life, it's this style. I think it's very unflattering on a woman and let's be real. If men wear it, I'm sorry, it's completely unflattering too. It just adds so much emphasis to the bottom half and so much bulk and exaggeration there on the legs. I just, things are just better left on the rack, left on the store. Let's talk about a couple popular sneakers that I've seen pop up. So one, I feel like it's been trendy for at least a year, at least a year. The dad sneakers, the New Balance dad sneakers. Uh, there's New Balances like this that are done a little bit more feminine, look a little bit more modern, classic, simple. That is not too much. But then there's styles like this. I hate these. I appreciate them on grandpa, on dads think it's a little too masculine, a little too manly. It's just like, I don't, I think this is just best left for the dads, the gramps. I could definitely appreciate it on them. Next up, this has been very, very popular. Adidas Sambas. I think I'm saying that correctly, but um, this, I have to say, I don't love it, but I don't hate it. And I think one of the reasons why is because I have so many other sneakers that I love and that just reflect my personal style a little bit more. Like for a white sneaker with some black accents, I love Veja's obsessed with them. Like they are my favorite white sneaker that really just elevates outfits. And honestly, just that one is great for me. I really feel like I don't need to try out any more or have any more in my collection. As of now, I love them. And the Sambas, 
They come in so many different colors, variety is a little bit of different styles. And if this is something you love, that's great. I don't think they look bad at all. I, I truly don't think they look bad. They're just not for me. Next up, very, very chunky platform shoes, sneakers. You guys let me know, yay, nay, yes, no. Personally, I do like a platform, but not too much. Like there's some that are just like chunky platform and I'm just like, no, 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 no. It's a little too much. It's taking something that's great for petite, but then taking it to the extreme where it looks a little funny, kind of like you have cement blocks or dinosaur feet. I have to say, can you guys let me know what you think of this one too? I've had such a hate for this for so long. Chunky form loafers. I cannot get myself to like these. I've seen them styled so many different ways. Maybe that's why, because I'm not a big fan of loafers on myself, just in general, even just like the very classic simple ones. I don't think they look bad, just not for me. They're just not my style. I appreciate them on others. But then you add like this chunky, oversized, form to it that just makes me dislike it even more adding a platform to some things works well some things it just doesn't work no people love trying unique different things but again this is a thing that is trendy for a bit you'll hate it later it's just gonna have such a short period of time and it's just such a waste but as always wear what you love and what you feel you're most and best confident in ignore the noise do what you love wear what you love this is just my personal opinion on one thing but again let me know what you guys think i love you guys so much thank you for taking the time to watch this video hopefully it was fun and entertaining and i'll see you in my next one bye